From softball state quarterfinal victories to regular season football finales, it was a jam-packed week of sports around the Tri-States. We'll even take you inside the hardwood for one of the more impressive serves you'll see this season. All that coming up on this week's Sensational 7. The Sensational 7 Countdown, sponsored by Sleep Tight. Better bed, less money. Number 7. Let's get this list started with a boom as Central Zach Ware is there for the big time tackle. One more look at that hit. Number 6. One of the meanest serves you will see all season, Hannibal's Malia Stolte breaks the glasses of her opponent on that serve. As Chris Dewar put it, enemy of corrective eyewear Stolte is. Here's a slow-mo look at that nasty serve. Glasses come right off. Those are going to need some repairing. Number 5. Let's head to Monroe City and check out running back Quincy Mayfield. He's made these lists before and he's going to do it again because of this run right here. Look at him weave his way through traffic and then once he gets into open space, it is off to the races. Mayfield down the sideline and into the end zone, rocking the pink on the back as well. The long touchdown run for Quincy Mayfield. Number four. We'll stay with Monroe City, but this time head to special teams. Here comes Trey Smizer, feels that one out of bounds. And once he gets into open space, just like Mayfield did, he is off to the races. Smizer past midfield, and you can kiss him. Goodbye, Trey Smizer runs that one all the way back to the house for the kickoff return touchdown. But this week at number four, we're not bringing you just one kickoff return. Here's a second. We'll go with QHS's Jareus Rice Jr. Makes the long trip over to Jeff City for this game to take on Cap City. And he made it worth the trip as he runs this one all the way back for the kickoff return touchdown. Big part in QHS's road victory. Rice obviously pumped up as he takes that one to the house. Number three. We knew pretty quickly this was going to be one of our top plays of the week. Check out QND's Wyatt Mueller takes off from his own 8-yard line, and he's going to run all the way across the field. He's not done either, still breaking tackles, gets into the clear, and then he's going to make his way all the way back across the field, doing whatever it takes to get into the end zone for a 92-yard rushing touchdown. Number 2. There'd be plenty of clutch hits in Paris's state quarterfinal win. One of them right here as Reese Sutton destroys that game-tying two-run homer. Knots this game up 5-5, but Paris, they fall right back down until Kennedy Ashenfelter knots this thing up once again, makes it a 6-6 ball game as she drives home the run on the single. But the clutchest hit of them all may have came in the top of the seventh when Knightley Mitten, the go-ahead two-run double, gave Paris their first lead of this whole game, and it ended up being the only one they needed as they go on to win this 8-6, going to state for the first time in school history. Number one. And at number one, some of the meanest runs we've seen yet, and it's Brady down to Russell Industry just refusing to get tackled, makes his way into the end zone after spinning away from a couple of defenders. But this next run we'll show you might be just as dominant. Gets through the hole and check out this brutal stiff arm. Downs would not score, but the run was every bit as powerful as it can get. Brady down showing off his strength for the Rockets in our number one play in this sensational set.